Kingston. It's one of my favourite places to be actually. If I'm not at work or outside playing, this is where you'll find me. Either in here making food or in here eating food. Actually, I have two boys, they're 20 and 17, so my house is like just a revolving door of teenage boys coming and going. And one of their mates just said yesterday, Nadia, like, you're always in here eating. Because he came in the morning and I was sitting in here eating. And then he came back at lunch and I was still sitting there eating. I'm sure he just thinks that all I do is sit in the kitchen and eat all day. So today's recipe is caramelized figs with walnuts and ice cream. Um, I got inspired to make this recipe just walking through the local mall and I saw an ad for a new flavor yogurt that was caramelized pig yogurt. I thought, hmm, how can I put a raw spin on this? So this is what I've come up with. This is my first time making this, so fingers crossed it turns out. Actually, the joy of raw food is even if it doesn't turn out like the consistency and texture you want, it still tastes delicious. So I'm going to start with the caramel sauce. Actually, there's only four ingredients, so we'll start with the ingredients. Five figs. Five walnuts, 15 dates, and bugger, I forgot to pull the bananas out of the fridge. Hold on. And one kilo of bananas, which I should have let soften a little bit. Um, okay, they'll soften while I'm making the dates, hopefully. So I've just chopped up the dates and put in the trusty food processor and you want just enough water to make it like caramel topping that's my plan so i've got a quarter of a cup here i'll just start with that and see a little bit how that goes to make it blend okay turning it on would be a good idea Looking good. Well, I ended up using three quarters of a cup of water. You just need to keep on adding it till it's like a squirtable consistency. I got this fancy little bottle from the markets the other day. Um, and I thought maybe, yeah, it could make for pretty food decoration. I'm not very good at making pretty food. I'm good at making tasty food, but uh, I think I need to have a food photography course lesson or something. So let's just scoop this in here. I'll just show you it up close. Caramel deliciousness. So you could always add more water if you want it more runny, but I think this is looking pretty good. Gotta have a taste. Mm-mm. Bugger! Two pieces of date stuck in there. Mm-mm. Can't let them go to waste. Okay, now for the banana ice cream. So one banana. Oh, should put the blade in first. Good idea. Two bananas. Three bananas. What's that song? One banana, two bananas, three bananas, four. I don't know. Is that a song? No, it's potatoes, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to change it to bananas. Now I've lost count. But I did weigh it before I froze them, and it was one kilogram of the edible portion. So just break them up a little bit. Just going to see how it goes making ice cream in the food processor. Could be a hit, or it could be a big miss. We will soon know. So I have weighed and measured everything and I'll be logging it all into calorie pin and the calorie chart will be at the end of this vid. I'm sure it's going to whack a nice big calorie punch. Which is good because I'm hungry. This is a good excuse to buy a tray of pigs. $24 and I've got some white ones which I haven't had in a long time and some regular ones. Spoilt myself today with the excuse of 
YouTube recipe. So I'm going to start off with a quarter of a cup of water again just to be able to get them moving. Let's blend this baby up. See that texture there? The consistency. Oh, bugger. Sorry. Destroying the place. Look at that. I'm going to eat all of this. Yum, yum in my tongue. How the hell do you use ice cream scoops? I don't know. It's all a bit too tricky for me. Okay, not doing so good in the presentation department. I cannot wait to eat this. Okay, I think I definitely need a refund on the ice cream scoop because I, I might as well have just used a regular spoon. <laughs> See how this goes. Maybe I should have made it more runny. Hey, it's just all one big experiment. Yep, definitely should have made it more runny. What the hell? I'm just gonna scoop it on there. So you can see the effect I was going for was nice little drizzles of caramel all over it. That's not going to happen now, but it's still going to taste good. So some caramel topping. Yum, yum. Totally not the prettiest dish. Could have been prettier if I had it worked out the way I planned, but oh well, I'm just winging it here. And really, at the end of the day, who cares how it looks? As long as it tastes good. And I promise you, this tastes good. Mmm. Mouth tingles. And then, for the piece de resistance, I've got five walnuts. Just sprinkle those on top. Like so. And I have to show you one of my other favourite kitchen toys. I've had this for nearly 20 years. It's the Cracker Nut. I actually bought it from the Nature's First Law online store back in the day. I don't even know that it exists anymore, but it's so easy to use. Hopefully, you can see this. Just twist it the right way. And it cracks all nuts like macadamia is like a dream. So hot here today. 
I'm rocking a nice sweat moustache. It's in the high 30s. Just a bit of a weather report there. Delicious and nutritious. Dessert for lunch. Okay, there you have it. Caramelized figs with walnuts and ice cream. Up close view. Be cute, eat fruit, don't forget your greens. See you, love you, bye.